Assistance representative at a high level from the US government is saying publicly, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. The U.S. may have a secret UFO retrieval program. Those are just some of the incredible claims laid out by the Pentagon UFO whistleblower David Grush. Now, among the claims from Grush is that the government has a non-human aircraft in its possession, which has been kept secret from both Congress and the public. He recently filed a whistleblower complaint claiming that he gave classified proof to Congress and the Intelligence Community Inspector General. But while News Nation has confirmed Grush's credentials, we have not seen nor verified the alleged proof that he claims to have given to investigators. Here to help me break down some of these claims, Bryce Abel. It's good to see him again, filmmaker and host of the Need to Know podcast. Bryce, thanks for being here. Hi, Natasha. It's good to be here, and it's such an important day. Thank you, know, you. We know the Inspector General of the Intelligence Service has said that Grush's complaint is credible. What is your reaction to the whistleblower story? Do you think that Grush is telling the truth here? Well, I've met Dave Grush twice. I was there for your Need to Know, uh, or rather your uh, News Nation interview, and also the day before we talked to him. Um, I think he is credible, but let's let's set the table for this just a little bit. Last December, the House and the Senate both passed the National Defense Authorization Act, and it was signed by President Biden, and it involved actually providing the language for protecting whistleblowers on the subject of UAP or UFOs. And he is the first person to come forward Forward. And as you pointed out, he's a very credible witness, and people are really going to see that in the special that comes up tonight. So I think uh, Dave Grush is telling the truth as he knows it. The issue of proof is a different one because obviously he was allowed by the inspector general to tell this story, but obviously the Defense Department isn't letting him walk out of the Pentagon with a piece of uh, spacecraft or a, a photo of an alien. So that's going to have to be what the Congress uh, actually does now. They're going to have to get into this, Natasha. They're going to have to do the investigation. I think one of the most shocking claims the whistleblower made perhaps was about humans being killed by non-human intelligence. Uh, let's right. take a listen to that quickly together. Have human beings been hurt or killed by a non-human intelligence? Well, I can't get into the specifics because that would reveal uh, certain U.S. classified in, uh, operations. Uh, I was briefed by a few individuals on the program that there were um, malevolent events like that. No, I'm scared. People have just heard you say non-humans may well have murdered human beings. That seems to be the case at one point, yeah. What is your reaction to this? Well, it's it's certainly shocking. I, I was as shocked as you probably are when you first heard that. But the man's credentials are excellent. And it is clear that over the last 80 years, many, many thousands of Americans and people from around the rest of the planet have seen things that cannot be explained that are anomalous. And these include pilots and, and uh, uh, police officers and military people. So there's no doubt that there's something going on. Our own government has told us that. The question is, what are the details of it? Well, David Grush was a person who was so trusted that he was one of the people that worked on the presidential daily briefing, and he was even trusted enough to courier it to the White House. So this is a man that you have to take seriously. Now, uh, now the hard work has to be begin, as I was saying. And, and I think that the one thing that we have going for us uh, as a nation right now is in a deeply divided time. Your previous stories uh, made that very clear. Here is an issue that has the beginnings of bipartisanship. The Senate Intelligence Committee that's taken a lead on a lot of this involves uh, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York, a Democrat, and Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, a Republican. And on, they probably don't see eye to eye on most things, but they sure do on the subject of the government needing to come clean and tell the people what it actually knows. Now, the idea that people have uh, died, possibly he was also referring to the fact that some people who have come in contact with the craft itself have received some kind of burns and radiation effects. But it's, it's, it's clear, if you listen to Dave Grush, he's saying there's more than one kind of non-human intelligence out there that we're in touch with, and that one of them, he feels, could be described as malevolent. So it's a sobering 
and somber moment for us. But I am looking forward to your audience at, at uh, News Nation seeing him for the hour special you're doing and really looking at this man and, and taking their own measure of him and asking themselves, do I think he's telling the truth? And I think if as they listen to him, as I have for a couple of days when I did meet him, I think he comes across as an honest man. That's not the end of the story, but it certainly is the beginning of it. Okay. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.